I've started working on the curve for the bow. It's half inch plywood. So a method that I found that works really well, and keep in mind I experimented with a lot of different ways to do it. I used really thin strips, I used strips horizontally, strips vertically. I discovered that if you start with a spiral where they're shorter on the end and wider on the top, then they fit much better. And as you can see over here, I run a 2x4 down the length of the curve. And then over here you can actually see deck screws that run the length of the 2x4. And that's what puts the really nice curve. So my next step is to of course finish this side. And you can see what I do is I lay them up one at a time before I glue them and then I'll mark them with a sharpie or a pencil and cut them to match the other side. And you can see I just have temporary screws. And then what I'll do is I'll take fairing compound similar to Bondo. I'll fill in all the joints and build them up and then I use my belt sander to flatten it all down and to shape a really nice looking curve. And then of course while I'm doing it, I want to make sure that each side matches really nicely. And then what's nice too about having the deck screws on the 2x4 longitudinal is that I can tighten them or loosen them as necessary to have it match this side. Once I have the two sides perfect and I have fared them out, fill them with compounds, some people use epoxy, this boat I'm using polyester resin products, then I'll actually run some fiberglass tape along the edges and then I'll pull out the deck screws that are holding the curve and the fiberglass will hold it in place. And then of course once the boat is flipped on the interior of the boat, I'll reinforce the back side of each one of these panels with a couple more layers of 6 ounce or maybe 10 ounce mat or something along those lines, but it'll be glassed on this side and on the other side as well. And then I'll smooth all this up, fairing compound, give it a nice rounded edge. Almost tripped over there and finish up the bow. You can see the boat has a really nice curve, nice lines on it. Very happy with how it's coming out. Very happy with the bow. And should finish this up tonight. And then I'll post another video when I get a chance. You can actually see over here an area where I fared a little too low. So I'm using a paint stick temporarily to hold it up and then I'll fill in that area of fairing compound and finish it off. Fairing compound, Bondo, your best friend if you aren't an expert carpenter.